What's going on, everybody? Pizzaholics. I'm on a mission to create the perfect pizza. Now, I've been making pizzas for uh, over 20 years, never with uh, a slow-rise dough. We're going to see how it goes. So join me in the cucina. Let's go make a pizza. <music> Guys, moment of truth. Oh man, it took me three days to prepare this dough. I'm liking that bottom. Look, it was a learning process. I made some mistakes. I shouldn't have put the oven at 475. Should have kept it at 550 like last time. Maybe 525. Next time I'm gonna try 525 because it's very thin crust. Oh, which I want to eat this slice. We're gonna go for this one. Look at that. Is that something or what? No flop. No flop on this baby. Aeration seems all right. It's crispy as hell, I can tell you that. Pliable, pliable. There is a, a slight airy center as well as some exterior crunch. Uh, it's a very small pie, so I'm not folding uh, anything too much. Mm. Guys, this is something that I would not feel embarrassed presenting to somebody. Am I happy with it? 100%? No. 
but it's something I would not be embarrassed if I were to present it to guests. Very happy with the aeration. Almost like a Roman style, but thin. I used a rolling pin to, to, to roll this dough out. Technique flaw, or uh, technique mishap. I went a little thinner on one side of the pizza than the other side. Look at that beautiful crust. Good combination of interior chew, exterior crunch. Again, the cheeses, there's nothing to say about the cheeses. It's good quality cheese. I used the fresh mozz. Plenty of milk content in that cheese, absolutely. Love this scamorza because it's basically a high quality, low moisture mozzarella, or I should say a lower moisture mozzarella than fresh. Good combination of uh, textures and flavors. And I like to do that with the sauce as well. Crushed San Marzano, as well as, as well as a simmered San Marzano as a base. Underneath all that, you guys saw that our base is tomato sauce that I used. I love the Defara sauce. You know, it's so zesty and, and spicy. Not as in spicy as in hot, but herbaceous. They put a lot of herbs in it. It's probably simmered, I'm assuming. Garlic spiked, I don't know. This was indeed a garlic spiked base that I used. Underneath there, as you can see, it's a little more orange than the crushed tomato. And there's some herbs. Lots of fresh oregano. Fresh oregano, really good quality oregano. Uh, and uh, yeah, and then some pecorino to finish. That's some finishing cheese. I ran out of Parmigiano. I would have liked to shave some parm on this thing, uh, but I opted for the Locatelli in the end, the sheep's milk pec, which I don't mind at all. Again, I was going for a, ro uh, a Razza. I was going for the Razza look and a Defara type hybrid. I mean, I got some char. I did produce some char here, guys. I did manage to, to get some, but it's scarce fire char. There's a slight smoky element to it, but it's not exactly bitter coal fire char. You know what I'm saying? And I love coupling a crushed San Marzano with a garlic spiked herbaceous sauce. Ooh. Guys, take a look at that profile there. Very airy. Well, guys, uh, that didn't last too long. I ate most of it off camera. Uh, I wanted to eat it hot, and I was working all day. I was a little hungry. Uh, yeah, that thing's gone. I'm probably going to have that tomorrow with a couple eggs or something. And, uh, yeah, it's a wrap, guys. So I'm not going to be making these often. At least I'm not going to be publishing these often to the public. I think the YouTube al algorithm kind of suffers. Whenever I publish something other than a pizza review, if you're interested in my home cooked stuff and pizza stuff, uh, hit that join button just underneath the um, subscribe button. You can find a join button and you can hit it. And for five bucks a month, you get access to ex exclusive content uh, like this. So uh, once in a while, I'll publish a, a pizza making tutorial for everybody to see. But for the most part, I'll be publishing these for our members only. So uh, for reasons uh, explained uh, before. So anyways, I hope you guys understand and I hope you guys are doing well and keeping those bellies full, preferably with some homemade pizza. Not the best, if I, you want me to rate it, I'm not gonna go crazy and rate my own pizza. And I'll talk to you guys in the comment section. I'm out of here. This is Antonio, signing off.